Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster, and welcome to lesson six of Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts. Uh, this lesson is on selecting tracks. Uh, if you're not familiar with Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts, uh, each lesson I tackle a handful of shortcuts uh, in Avid Media Composer, tell you what the keyboard shortcut is, and explain what it does. And uh, this lesson uh, should be a fairly uh, quick one compared to the other ones. Um, and uh, this one is all about selecting tracks. And uh, for that, uh, we're going to be using uh, the keyboard here. We're going to be using uh, the top row keys here, not the number pad uh, keys. That's uh, that's for uh, something else. Check out uh, lesson three, the uh, moving lesson, uh, for more about the number pad keyboard shortcuts. OK, so uh, we're talking about selecting tracks and deselecting tracks uh, in our timeline. So over here in our timeline, um, when a track is selected, it's highlighted in blue. Uh, when it's deselected, it's not highlighted. It's the generic gray color. So that's uh, what we're going to be doing here with the keyboard shortcuts. And um, by, by default, um, uh, V2, V1, and A1 through A4 are the keyboard shortcuts in Media Composer. Uh, so if we hit the 7 key on the top row, and watch right here, uh, when I hit the 7 key, it deselects V2. Or when I hit it again, it, since it's deselected now, when I hit the 7 key, it selects it, or it activates it, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, moving on down the line, the 8 key on the top row, numbers, that's going to select or deselect V1. Uh, moving down the line, hit the 9 key on the top row, that's going to select or deselect A1. Uh, the 0 key, deselect or select A2. The uh, dash key or the hyphen key, the one next to the 0, that's going to select or deselect uh, A3. And then the equal sign, that's going to select or deselect A4. Why is that important? Um, you know, I use these keyboard shortcuts a lot. Um, like, let's say right now, if I want to paste uh, this clip in that's in the source monitor, um, and V1 is paired to V2 right now, if I deselect V2 and select A1, it's going to auto patch uh, V1 to V1 instead of V1 to V2. See how that works? Uh, so you can quickly, you know, if I had it in and out here, um, and for example, uh, I want to paste this clip in now. Uh, so I'm going to deselect A3, A2, A1, and then let's say I want to paste it to uh, V2, so I'm going to hit the uh, 9 key to deactivate V1, and hit the 7 key to activate V2, and then uh, from our editing lesson we know that the B key is going to overwrite edit that clip in there. So that's why uh, selecting and deselecting tracks using the keyboard shortcuts is really useful. Uh, it speeds up your editing workflow quite a bit. And uh, this works also on the source side of things. So uh, I'm just going to uh, highlight a few things here and hit the Alt or Option C key to throw these clips up into the source monitor. Learned that in a previous lesson also. And then now that I have the uh, source monitor side selected, it's white and, and this is gray, that's how you know. Um, and over here, when I start hitting the uh, the 7 key, that's going to activate or deactivate V2, uh, V1, you know, using the same keyboard shortcuts. So it doesn't matter if you're working in the source side or the record side, uh, when I hit the keys, that's going to select or deselect the tracks. Uh, two more uh, quick shortcuts for you. Uh, if I hit a command, uh, if, I'm on a, if I'm on a Mac, control, if I'm on a PC, hold that down and hit the A key, that's going to select all the tracks at once. Uh, and, and if I want to deselect all the tracks, hold down command or control, hold down the shift key, and now hit the A key, and that's going to deselect everything. Let me check my notes. All right, I think that's about it. So thank you guys for watching this lesson on uh, Mastering Avid Media Composer's Keyboard Shortcuts on selecting or deselecting tracks. Uh, make sure to uh, check out the next lesson, Lesson 7, on bin shortcuts. Uh, check that out. Please make sure to uh, subscribe to this channel uh, so you get notified about new videos coming out uh, each and every week, uh, maybe a little bit more often soon. Uh, and if you found this helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And uh, as always, any questions, uh, if you're over on the website, leave them below in the comments. If you're on YouTube, leave them below uh, in the comments here. Um, and that's it, guys. I will see you in the next video.